As you know, many locally owned restaurants have taken a hit over the past year due to the pandemic. Many have turned to take out to stay afloat and until the end of the month, you can help these restaurants during Cleveland Independence Restaurant Week to go. So we have John Kohler. He's a chef and owner of Time Tune Medina and he's joining us this morning with more. John, it's good to see you. Hey, good to see you too. Good and, morning. And good morning. I'm excited for you guys. Uh, I know it's been a struggle over the past year or so. Things are going to be a little bit different. So explain how the week is going to go. Well, so we have uh, Cleveland Restaurant Week to go. Uh, we have about 35 uh, local restaurants that are participating in this. Um, you can contact those restaurants on uh, clevelandrestaurantweek.com um, or call the restaurants you know, individually and put your order in ahead of time and we will have all different menus and different um, uh, meals prepared for you. And we are looking at some of the delicious dishes from your place. What's on your menu? Well, this two weeks, we're gonna be featuring a Mediterranean shrimp pasta mm. uh, with some fresh artichokes and tomatoes, um, olives and a little feta cheese. Uh, that's gonna come with a mixed green salad with um, a verjou vinaigrette, grapes, and candied almonds, and a chocolate creme brulee for dessert, all so for $25. Every dish you order, you get the dessert. It comes with it? That's it. Yum! <laughs> um, I want to touch on your story because this is really remarkable how Carry Out basically saved your restaurant. Tell everybody at yep. home how that worked, and for those of you who participated, I I'm sure John would like to thank you. Absolutely. It was really a game changer. Um, I'm sure everyone remembers about a year ago. Um, I know I do where you were at when um, the governor closed all the restaurants down. He had uh, just closed down schools and um, there was a lot of uncertainty in the world. And at that point, um, I was actually at the restaurant. We were doing a small catering event and um, I sat on the steps and I just didn't know what I was going to do. And I looked up and I, you know, I felt sorry for myself for a little bit. And then I said, you know what, we're going to, we're going to do everything we can to survive. Um, that's what, you know, independent restaurants and independent mm -hmm. businesses are all about. And ironically, um, two days earlier, that Saturday before we were scheduled to have a, uh, a good friend and customer had passed away. And I, had volunteered our restaurant to do a uh, complimentary luncheon for everyone after the funeral. Um, it was going to be pretty big. And then as time got closer to that date, we realized that um, a lot of people didn't feel comfortable coming out. Um, so instead of having 75 people or so, we had about 12 people came out. Mm. And uh, as you can imagine, I had a lot of food that I didn't cook off <laughs> for the party. And, um, I looked at my manager and I said, why don't we go online and um, multi uh, on uh, Facebook and stuff and put out a family meal special today uh, for chicken marsala and pasta and dessert and a salad for like four for $40 and see how it goes. And the response was amazing. Uh, we sold out like a hundred in like an hour. Oh my God. And, um, since then, I sort of knew what we were going to do. Mm -hmm. um, we were going to concentrate every day on having a different family meal special. Um, and we did that through those three months. And to this day, um, we still offer them three times a week. Um, people love them. You po now you post every morning, right, John? Every morning, the menu yeah, is do. up on your Facebook page. And we you're do. sold out by like 1 o'clock in the afternoon still. Usually, yeah, it's it's incredible. I think going into this, our to-go orders were less than 3% of our total business. Wow. Um, now, of course, we're, you know, close to 50% sometimes, even when we're open. So it has really taken off. It's incredible. And in these times, um, I think we all, you, you we all want to say comfort food. Yes. But I really... I really do think it's true, right? Uh, yeah, and and thank you all for those of you who are watching who've been out and supported the local restaurants because John's a living example of basically how you saved his business. So, uh, John, this is going to be great. Hopefully, it's the last to go. Maybe next year's <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back to normal. At least we hope so, right? I love so um, 
selling food on plates instead of to-go containers. So yeah. yes, I'm all on on that. Well, you're a great example. Um, so we appreciate all the hard work you guys have done as well. Uh, thanks, John, for being with us. You have to go grab some of that yummy food that we just featured. Cleveland's Independent Restaurant Week. It runs uh, March 31st through March 31st, and we have a full list. There is a ton of participating restaurants. It's on our website, fox8.com. So we truly appreciate everybody's support.